Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. This is pretty interesting. So earlier today, Metallica and Lady Gaga have decided to release their dress rehearsal performance of Moth and the Flame for the Grammys. Now from what I understand, this is them performing their version of Moth and the Flame because you know it's edited and they go back and forth, Lady Gaga and James singing and all that. If you saw the Grammys and you saw what happened, then you know what I'm talking about. Apparently this is the version where everything's working just fine, no mic issues, and apparently from what I'm hearing from other people, this is actually a way better performance besides the mic issue than the performance we saw live on TV. So people are like, you need to check this out. Now, I did listen to the version, like a really crappy version where James' mic was on because apparently the streaming version of the Grammys, the mic was on for James, but uh, the TV version, it was not on for most of the song, or it was, and I'm screwing up all the time. But anyways, this is the dress rehearsal performance of Moth and the Flame, Ataka, and Lady Gaga. Let's get into it and see what it actually sounds like from the dress rehearsal and see how it should have been heard <laughs> on TV. Let's go. This sounds way better. At least the, yeah, the, the quality sounds way better. She's still doing those dance moves. I'll talk about what I think about this at the end of this reaction. I'll go into more of my thoughts. Yeah! Yes! All right, I like that. Higher note she hit. Yeah, this sounds way better than the TV version. Yeah, this sounds better, not just because James's mic is turned on, but it sounds great because the quality sounds way better than the TV version. Oh. I just noticed they had to do some switching because James did the second part of uh, lead up to the course instead of her in a live performance. Finishing my thought. kind of weird watching her do these moves and there's like no one there watching. <laughs> I'm glad they did this. Okay, so she does that. That was planned. That was planned, okay. Yeah, she jumped into the uh, crowd surfing too early. She does it during the solo. Yeah, this sounds way better. I don't know if it's... I don't think it was my TV. I just think that they just fucked up the audio, I think. But Oh, double bass. <laughs> I heard that, Lars. Yeah, this sounds way better. Yeah. Still don't like the people on both sides pretending to mosh, but they're just like doing this. 
I don't like that at all. That's fucking garbage. I like the fires and all the explosions and shit. It makes sense. But I don't like the people just like, it's like, ah, I'm pushing you, I'm pushing you. I'll shut up. <laughs> oh. So they kind of had, they already tried this. Yeah, she had to, she had to more, add more in since his mic was fucking up. Why does it sound so good here, but you had to fuck it up on TV? That was a better version. Thank you. Thank you, Metallica and Lady Gaga for releasing this version. Round of applause all around. Okay, look. Um, I'm going to say this first before I start talking about this particular performance and how I think they... After seeing this, I have a different perspective on the performance at the Grammys. Because, uh, yeah, they, they, they had to be professional about it. Okay, so, uh, anyway, so, to my first point, I want to mention about the performance in general from the TV and my reaction. I got a lot of comments from people saying, why the fuck did Lady Gaga, like, just, like, slither her, slither her way in or however they termed it. A lot of people, a lot, says really nasty shit. A lot of people did. Um, why did she slither her way into their performance? So, um, I want to respond to those people that still think that Lady Gaga, like, just, Lady Gaga or the Grammys themselves, like, bombarded their way and they got her into performing so they can get, you know, better ratings and all that kind of shit. So, uh, if you don't believe him, that's different, but Lars Ulrich, the drummer for Metallica, has stated that I think two weeks before the Grammys even aired, before they performed or did anything, they were at dinner with her, or or maybe Lars just was, but they asked if she would perform with them because they found out that she's a big fan and she really likes Moth and the Flame and they were going to perform it. So that's how that happened. So if, if you want to hate on somebody for this, you know, this matchup, this Lady Gaga and Metallica merging together for this performance... Uh, you, you you can hate Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga for her um, musical her musical career, and you can hate her for the music she performs. Uh, it's not my it's not my taste in music, but I don't hate her because it's just not my taste in music. I have no reason to hate her just because I don't like the music, you know. It's just not my thing. But if you want to hate somebody, hate Metallica, hate Lars because he's he asked her. So I guess it's another reason to hate Lars. I guess <laughs> for people, some people. Uh, anyways, I'm rambling. This is a way better performance and. The reason why I was mentioning how I, I look at the live performance from the Grammys, the one we all saw on TV, the reason why I look at it in a different way is because James originally was supposed to sing more by himself. And Lady Gaga had to improvise and she had to do more. Because I thought, I thought it was mostly just back and forth, back and forth, and they would switch off on things. Turns out, no, James did a lot more of the stuff, but she had to do more of, do more of it because his mic was not working. And originally, she wasn't jumping on Lars at that one point during uh, during that one section where she's like on top of him and like on his body, like get off Lars, get off of Lars, you're gonna kill him, you're gonna hurt him. Uh, that wasn't originally planned. Um, and then a little thing in the end where they're actually sharing the mic at the end. That's interesting. So that that was, I get that, that might have been spontaneous. I don't know, but the way James looked at her for a second was kind of like like hey, this is awesome. I, mean, like, I think it was spontaneous, but they had to actually do it for the performance. But I'm glad they released this because it uh, it's a way better performance. You know what they should have done? Even though it wouldn't work because there's no one in the audience. They should have just like played this version and pretended. <laughs> like just play this. Just play this version. No, no, no. Because you listen to the you listen, you listen to the TV performance. I remember clearly it did not sound like this. It didn't sound this good audio wise. And maybe they cleaned it up a little bit and made it sound better. Fine, but this sounds way fucking better. Um, and I know there's a whole thing. People were sending me tweets. People were commenting. Did you hear that Metallica invited Lady Gaga to perform with them if she's ever around? I'm like, yeah, I know. I heard the day of. And I, it's not going to happen a lot if it does. I mean, if it starts happening weekly, then okay, that's a different story. We'll, we'll have a discussion about that. But if it's like every once in a while she pops up and performs Moth in a Flame in its entirety or performs another song with them at a live event and they... Okay, I have no real issue with it. So, 
anyways, that's my reaction to this performance of Moth into Flame. What did you guys think of this dress rehearsal performance? Now, let's not really... Okay, if you want to talk about the live performance that was at the Grammys, that's fine. But let's just... Let's try to discuss this version. Because to me, this version is like 10 times better. Because first of all, the mic was working. And... It just sounds better, and James and Lady Gaga were performing great, in my personal opinion. Even though Lady Gaga's not my cup of tea, as the kids say, it's still a good performance. I can't lie. I know so. I know. I know a lot of Metallica fans hated this fucking shit, but I mean, you know, it's my, it's my, favorite, my favorite band of all time. If they wanted to do something different, <laughs> you know, I'll be honest about it. They did Lulu. I hated Lulu. They did this. I don't hate it. The fact they got to perform Moth in the Flame in general at the Grammys is amazing. Uh, Lady Gaga, it doesn't really change the, 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 the thing that really fucked up is the goddamn Grammys fucked it up. That's what fucked it up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done rambling. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this performance of Moth in the Flame. Thank you so much for watching my reaction, guys. Peace out.